All right, and we're up. Well, I'm not, oh, start this episode. I want to start this episode. You can, you can do whatever you want. I was really going to say. He's gonna a sack stop. of shit. He's always been a sack of shit. He will always forever be a sack of shit. Guy's making public, uh, uh, he's making public uh, uh, allegations. He's a lion sack of shit. The guy's a sack of shit. He's lion. He's a lion, you know, like lion, lion Mitchie. That's his new name, lion Mitchie over here. I've been on the Zoom. It's five in the morning waiting for the show because I'm a company man. And he's over here. He's not even in the screen. He's not even in the screen. The guy's a bum. The guy's a bum. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, I need to give a. Well, this is good stuff, man. Really glad that uh, this is working out really well on, on all fronts. You uh, decided to record if anybody's ready. Kick the show off. You already kicked the show off by throwing all those horrible words my way. No, you interrupted me. So anyway, everybody, if you happen to stumble upon this video and for some reason after that intro, you're still here, yeah. welcome, welcome, and we appreciate you more than you know. Yeah, we um, appreciate your page, buy a t-shirt. Give you guys a rundown. This is, you know, th this organization is run by that guy, Anthony Paisani, has absolutely no idea what he's doing. It's completely, yes. completely disorganized, and we are supposed to do a Friday morning show. At a certain time, he always says that I'm not ready for it, which is just not the case. And uh, the thing with him is that I literally posted over at Play by Play Mitch on Instagram. Check that out. Also on Twitch, oh, twitch.tv forward slash Play by Play Mitch. I was just letting everybody know I'm going to be getting back onto Twitch here soon to do Cincinnati Reds Play by Play. So I'll have the game cast up. I can't have the actual game, but it's something you can throw in the background. Let me know what you think. Let me know how I do. I have a lot of fun with it. I really enjoy the old play-by-plays. So anyway, I was posting on there to let people know I'll be back on Twitch here soon and keeping some updates coming. But also I showed that this thing was supposed to start at 9 a.m. Eastern time, or excuse me, 8 a.m. Central, because Anthony says I have to do it in his time. And at 8.02 Central, I'm sitting there making the video and I'm waiting for him to start the Zoom. So we can actually do the video Put that up on the Instagram. It's very, very obvious that he's wrong. And then after I posted that, he texted me and said, you getting on here? Like, that's just a classic, like he's not up yet. And using that as like, oh, I hope that he responds and says, oh yeah, I'm getting on. It's like, no, I was already on. Buddy. So that's where we're at right now. And, uh, I'm uh, hoping we can begin. I've uh, put food in the cat bowl. I took a piss. I uh, washed my hands. Now the show can begin. Now the fans are tuned in, Mitchie Steves. Now they're listening. How, how are you doing this fine morning? Oh, I'm doing extremely well. How are you? Oh, I'm dandy. I'm nothing short of dandy, Mitchie Steves. Let's talk, let's talk some sports, why don't we, huh? Why don't we talk some sports? Big sports guy? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good, man. Uh, I am very excited about the Cincinnati Reds. Oh. Five and one start, and they're, they're absolutely mashing the ball. So I'll have a blog out up on ngdgens.com here this weekend, just talking a little bit more about them. Um, a lot of fun. It was a surprise, honestly. So last season, for those who don't know, obviously the, the COVID-shortened season, the Reds snuck into the playoffs really only because – there was, there was an added playoff spot. We got that seventh playoff spot and proceeded in two games against the Atlanta Braves to not score a single run. We got great pitching, did not score. It was like the most painful, excruciating thing to watch. Uh, and then this year came back with a couple of new guys we're really excited about, but we also don't, we didn't really add too much and they're just hitting the ball really well. We won 14 to one and then like, 11 to four back-to-back -back games against the Pirates took two or three from the hated Cardinals got in a brawl with the Cardinals which you already talked about but five and one really excited what are your uh, what's your quick take on Cincinnati Reds uh fact check real quick I'm gonna fact check you uh 
um, fact check in the chat, you won a 14 to one and 11 to four. Thank you. So it was a fact. So thank you for those. Appreciate yeah, that. Was, that. Was a fact. Was, that's the type of thing you don't, that my brain just remember. I'm not, I'm not saying it's that valuable to remember things like that, but like, I don't really forget scores of like teams that I care about. <sighs> 56 to 26. I remember that one. I remember 56 to 26. Um, yeah, that's tough. Yeah, the Reds, uh, baseball, man. Baseball's a fun little sport. Uh, we talked about baseball the other day. Um, the Oakland Athletics are a bunch of bums. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday, plus one and a half. That didn't work out too well. Uh, yeah, I like the Yankees. Like, uh, going yard, you know? You like the Yankees? I, well, we talked about this yesterday. This basically was repeating the conversation with you. But, you know, I used to be a big baseball fan. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to play baseball. No big deal. Mm -hmm. and, uh, by the way, I actually one time believed this. Get this. I don't care if you believe it or get it. But get this. Uh, seven, 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 it was like seventh, sixth or seventh grade. Uh, bottom, uh, extra innings. Extra innings. One out. One guy on base. And I hit the game-winning ball. Uh, literally the weakest little uh, grounder to right to the shortstop. But the shortstop, here's the key, completely fucking overthrew to home base by like 30 feet. So technically, I RBI'd the winning run, won the game. It was no big deal, but I have I do have a, a walk-off um, hit in my career. Um, okay. And, can, I, can I share my one walk-off moment? No, you cannot. You cannot. Not till I'm done. Right, so it wasn't. It wasn't a hit. But all right, we're in the. We're in sixth grade, okay. and it was. Uh, it, yeah, sixth grade city championship uh, tournament. All right, and we're down to the final four, and we're playing this team that it's the something something Cardinals. I can't remember, but they were very good, and we had. Uh, it was a double elimination, and neither of us had lost, so it was. It was. It was heated, and. Uh, we had, they had bases, we're up by one. They have bases loaded with one out, bottom of the last inning. All right. So, like, we're, we're, we're in trouble. I'm in right field. Young, young Mitchie's in right field. They hit, a, they hit a line drive, like, kind of like a sinking line drive. I had to come in to catch it. And I can still vividly remember, like, two of my buddy's dads, like, <laughs> I could hear them. They were right on the, like, the foul line, like, screaming for me to, because I just doubled the guy up at first. So I just ran in, caught it. He was caught off the bag, threw it to first. Ah! It was, yeah, pretty it was bad. awesome. That's pretty, that's pretty it bad. was awesome. Uh, there was a story in the Enquirer about it the next day. <laughs> oh, there's actually, well, there's there's actually a, a, a statue with my the, the uh, Cincinnati, the Woostie Greyhawks. That was our that was our team. Um, yeah, there was not a story in the Enquirer about it the next day. No. But, I do remember it. That was the best, best baseball one I had. I was always better in the field. Not, not a, not, you know, I didn't I like it yeah. here and there, but not. I liked outfield because there's less pressure. The ball doesn't come your way nearly as much. I fucking hate getting those ground balls because they bounce and I'm always afraid it's going to like hit me in the chest and like, Ugh, like kill me or something. And also all the cutoffs and shit are confusing as fuck. I hate sec. I, they made me play like second base for a while. I was like, fuck this. I hate this shit. Put me in the outfield where I don't have to do anything. I, well, I, meant I was better in the field than at the plate, like in general. I think that may be the softest thing I've ever heard that as a baseball player, you were scared of something. <laughs> like, I understand if you're like standing in there at the plate and somebody throws 90 or whatever, or they throw really hard for whatever age you are. And you're, you're that was also bat. scary. I didn't like that either. I didn't like being at the bat because um, I was like in the infield, dude. It's like, okay, yeah, they could hit one really hard at you, but like, well, they, it wasn't the not, only thing you're focused on is is the batter and you're waiting. No, to there's secrete. so many things to do. Like with third, with third base, had me at third base and first base too. Like there's a third base. It's like, all right, sweet. Well, if it goes this direction, I have to run to the outfield. There's one point where I have to stay on base. So I have to cut off the second, second base. It was, it goes over the shortstop. You run outfield. You're the cutoff man. But then you like, it was just, there's, it's like, it wasn't the fear of like, also, I don't like getting hurt. So there's a little fear of that. I don't want to get fucking dinged. But Mitchy sees, get this. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to be the guy who forgets an assignment and my fucking sixth grade team loses and everyone hates me for the rest of my life. Okay. I, I, I don't disagree with you there. But the thing with baseball is team like, Mitchy. It's not like it's not like uh playing left guard in football, where it's like when you run when when we run this play, 
you pull. And if they pick up the D, the, the D tackle, then you, you seek out the linebacker and you kick him out or whatever, all those extra things. It's like in baseball, you have minutes in many cases to assess the situation and be like, okay, there are two guys on base. So if there's a base ah, hit, that's scary. You didn't even, uh, didn't, didn't even finish. Didn't no, even finish. I know what you're but, talking about. You, you're sitting there, you, baseball, you, you, you got time to think. Baseball, you got time to think, Mitchie. I don't like thinking. So you'd rather have all those different scenarios that you need to remember and not have any time to think about it. No, I don't like the other scenario too. I don't like uh, sports. I don't like uh, contact uh, at all. It's, it's, I don't like any of that. Man, I would have loved to have coached you back in the day. I, I here's what I'm the perfect. I'm extremely coachable, Mitchie. I'm extremely coachable and <laughs> all about yeah. the team. All about the team. Anyways, baseball is fun. I will say that. I've been watching a little bit of baseball. It's a fun sport. Uh, if I had to rank it, it's definitely not as good as football. Uh, but I tell you what, a really competitive game of baseball where I've got money on it and I care, I tell you what, Bob, uh, that's a fun little game, fun little game. And, uh, wow. <laughs> wow. I, would it, I, would, I would put it up there maybe with basketball. It's in the, it's in the football is unbeaten. NFL is godly. It's, you can't beat that, but, um, yeah. it's up there. It's up there. And uh, yeah, yesterday was a bad gambling day, Mitchie Steves. Bad gambling day. Um, I'm crawling back. I'm crawling back. I, I was. Hope. I, I just Lakers a little over the Lakers. If you haven't been following them without LeBron and AD, I get it. They are a completely different team that is not that fun to watch. Uh, however, Caruso. the over unders are so intriguing. I, I hit the over yesterday with the Heat Lakers and. It's just like the, the numbers are so low that you're like, ah, these are NBA guys. They're definitely going to get there. Uh, and they did, but you were on the, uh, you were on the phone with me there toward the back end of it. I don't know if you saw, but like three different times, the announcer was like, and free throws. And I'm like, okay, we only need one more free throw. And they'd be like, no, oh, just kidding. Turns out it looks like it was on the floor. There's like 30 seconds left. I'm like, oh my goodness. And they finally got there. But they got nobody that can really score, man. I don't know. It's it's weird. LeBron maybe got to come back soon. Because well, even though I won the bet, it was still kind of brutal to watch that game. LeBron, they call him what? La Bum or La GM or something? I, I read the internet comments, Mitchie. Read them. I'm, I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, man. So hey, anyway, so I'm so so sorry I cut you off. Tell us about all your your bad gambling losses. Oh yeah, so I'm just uh, I just can't I can't accept many losses. I uh, I bet a bunch yesterday, lost a bunch yesterday, and I ended the day down a hundred bucks, which you know I just made eight hundred plus the other day. So I'm like that. You know, a normal person would be like, all right, we're gonna cut our losses. Oh, um, hundred. Not not the worst. Uh, I then proceed to go lose three hundred and forty dollars at the casino. Uh, because I'm a piece of shit. Uh, so I don't know why I am the way I am. I, you know, the, the dumbest part is I do this every time. I started off with like, oh, I'll just do a couple $10 hands. I'm down 100. I'll end the night down 50 bucks. I'll see if I can go up like 50, be down 50. Nope, 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 nope. Because uh, as soon as you hit that $50 chip once, uh, you're toast, but you see, you're toast. So yeah, yeah, I'm still up clarify for the people at home. He didn't, he didn't say, man, I lost all these bets and hop in his car and, and go lose that money at the casino. He went onto an online casino where you just press buttons and watch your dreams go down the drain. Shout out fine lines, Sports. <laughs> fine lines, sports, two, zero, one, five, zero, three, five, zero, three. <laughs> Four, one, five, one. I fucking we got to get it where it's like flashing on the screen, like those old, uh, like those old commercials. Uh, you know what I'm talking no, about? No, I don't know. It's like a, like a Stu Finer type of commercial. And no free shout outs. No free shout outs. No free shout outs. Uh, uh, fine line sports, though. Fine line sports. Hey, listen to this, Mitchie. Do you have a sports, sports book? Do you use Mitchie Steves? I use fine line sports. Oh, let me tell you about it. Let me tell you about it. If it I'm really on, is awesome. It really, really is. Awesome. Go ahead. Guess what? Let me give you. I'll do a little <laughs> ad read for the for the guys, huh? You, you know, we, we, he, we're what we call uh, a sponsor. He's paying us to promote goods and or services, Mitch. You know, that being said, I use the book. I fucking hate the book. The book takes all my money, but it's a good book. I'm a bad gambler. That's the difference. It's a great book. Uh, Fine line sports. <clears throat> uh, guess what? You live out where, Mitch? You live out. Let's say. Uh, 
California, maybe uh, 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 Montana, states that don't have legalized online gambling. They can't gamble. Guess what, Bob? This shit's based out of Costa Rica. We're talking loopholes. Loopholes sports. That's what this one is, baby. But guess what? It's legal, I think. I don't know, but you can bet on it. Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, whatever. He's never going to put a barrier between you and your money. You send him some money. Guess what, baby? You mentioned the Lenny special, 21% free play. Guess what that means, Mitchie Steez? You give Davey Fine Lines 100 bucks, he's going to give you $21 in free play. You bet it once, you win one game, it's cash. I just bet yesterday uh, uh, 150 uh, to win 172 on the Suns game versus the Jazz. Boom, 172 cash money. I then proceed, obviously, to lose $440 yesterday, so that doesn't really matter anymore. But Fine Lines Sports, Mitchie Steez, any thoughts? Yeah. My favorite thing about it, I think I'm going to pick one thing to highlight each time that we talk about on the show. My favorite thing about it is the live uh, betting. Because in the past, I had gone with my bookie. And I know no free shout outs, but they're just absolute stink. Absolute worst. So I went with my bookie. And one thing that was always really frustrating is I get it. If the game's going on, like the lines are changing and you know, a team might go on a run in basketball, for example, so they have to kind of stop it for a second. But like with my bookie or like my other experiences with, with betting live, have you ever had this where it's like, you just can't get it to submit. And every time it's like, oh, the line has changed. The line has changed. And you're like, the line changed hardly at all. I don't care. Sure. Accept, accept, accept. Well, I mean, that happens with this one with, with fine lines. I'll be fair. I'll be honest. That happens with fine lines too, but it's, it's a system. It's not fine lines. It's, it's, it's so, a- no, but the system that they use is way better. Dude, I, I make I make live bets all the time. I don't like and it, and it. Well, I'm just better at getting a feel for the game. No, the live game. betting is good for the house. Pre betting is good for the public. Yeah, is that what the four hundred forty dollars told you? Fuck you. Continue. I've ca- I, 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 yeah, I, I tell you what, I've cashed a solid uh, six hundred past couple of weeks. Not bad. Fineline Sports, you bum. I told him I was down for the year. It was like, ha you bum. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Yeah, I got a good feeling about this. I got a good feeling about this. Uh, this is going to be a good day, Mitchie Steez. I got a good feeling. We're going to have some winners, 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 winners. Hey, it looks like Deshaun Watson. Done. Uh, yeah, any uh... – <laughs> you ever heard of this Vegas Dave guy, Mitchie? We'll cover this. <laughs> Vegas Dave. You know Vegas Dave? It's so, oh my God, it's kind of, he's basically like a handicapper. He's like a sports handicapper. And uh, he's always, he's basically like the most. Let's say only bums sleep. Only bums sleep to double digit numbers. Time to 3 a.m., time to grind. I work while others sleep. Hashtag Vegas Dave, hashtag goat, hashtag sports betting, hashtag casino, hashtag gambling, hashtag Vegas. Hashtag I mean, I do agree. Okay, I, I get what he means. Hashtag money, hashtag cash, hashtag William Hill, hashtag Bovada, hashtag goat, hashtag Vegas Dave TV, hashtag YouTube, hashtag baseball cards, hashtag football, hashtag NFL, hashtag college football, hashtag baseball, hashtag MLB, hashtag goat, hashtag Ikami, hashtag Vive, hashtag NFT, hashtag NFTS, hashtag Bitcoin, hashtag BitClout. Vegas Dave. Guys, fucking five foot two. Uh, he charges like, uh, you know, we're talking about Stu Finer. I think Stu Finer's a He's a, he's a little shyster. I've I, I paid Stu Finer a couple times, so he's got the goods. He's an entertaining guy. I'm happy to give him my money, and he's, he's never not performed. This Vegas Dave guy is like, oh, three picks, $3,000. And then uh, uh, he's like five foot two. He's got a fucking – he makes videos literally of the money coming. He's like, hey, guys, watch this. I'm going to make a video. Take my next pick. Three picks for $3,000. And then he'll set up the camera. He's like, watch this, guys. <laughs> I just made $27,000 in one minute. <laughs> I'm going to do Follow me. I'm going to I'm help you create a secondary stream of income. He's like such a piece, a little piece of shit, Mitchy Steve. He's a bum. He's a bum. And he's got a purse. He carries around a purse, Mitchy Steve. He's like proud of it. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not king shaming, right? I'm just saying the guy carries a purse. What's going on there, Mitch? You guys five foot two. The guy's got a picture in front of the Rolls Royce. Like he's probably renting. He's probably a bum. He fucking barely stands above the fucking the fucking hood of the car, Mitch. You see, this guy's a little midget guy, huh? Thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> I, I you're introducing me to the guy, so I don't I don't have too many thoughts on him. I think I maybe heard you mention. The double digit numbers thing, I mean. 
I don't know. I guess I kind of agree with that. But so <laughs> in the in the in the caption, he says he wait he wakes up at three a.m. No, I think you, I think you just said like I was he's up at three a.m. He's the kind of guy. He's literally like the definition of like an internet um, like life coach guru. Okay. Like, yeah, look at all my money. But the gambling version. So yes, but, yes. Like, don't, but don't sleep till double digit numbers or you're a bum. And it's like, I mean, like beating your chest that you wake up before ten a.m. I don't know what that. Well, well, you don't the, sleep till double I'm digit numbers. Excited. Listen to this full video because it's the first time I've offered this package this year, the Super <laughs> Whale Goat Package. I have baseball whales every day. It's my best sport. There's games every day. But I don't do NBA and hockey whales every day. We've only had one day worth of NBA whales this week and one day of hockey whales. We lost Sunday. I got my ass kicked. But what happened? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all Give me your money, Mitchie. It's the first time in weeks where all three sports – we are playing. All the stars align. So I'm going to do a whale bundle, a super goat whale bundle. Where super goat whale. NBA whale, hockey whale, and baseball whale. It breaks <laughs> down to $76 a whale. Whoa, that's just This guy's literally. What's the, am I Am I the, the dumb one here? What's what's the whale thing? I don't, he, cause he's got like, he, like the little bet. Well, Stu Finer does the same. No free shout outs, but Stu Finer does the same. Stu's like, look, small bet, medium bet, fast bet, right? $100,000 bet, $10,000, whatever. But his, so are like, that's like the big one's the whale. Yeah. He basically yeah, okay. he's got like little fish. He's got like snapper and he's got the whale, right? But okay, the okay. whales are the most expensive and the whales are the ones that he promotes all the time. So <laughs> it cracked me up too. Cause I went to Stu's website. I like Stu Finer. He's a good kid. No free shout outs though. And uh, he's like, $100,000 best bet. Pay Stu Finer $3,000 now. And it's like the last uh, 100 best bets in that category have gone like, like fucking 48, 46, and two or something. I'm like, Stu, I'm not paying you $3,000 for a coin flip, man. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> like, you go 75 and 25 and we'll talk. What are you talking about? Unbelievable. Hey, I mean, at least he's honest with the numbers. No, yeah, I feel yeah. like it'd be very easy. Well, probably not, actually. People are psycho. They probably would keep track of that. They'd catch it if he was doing it. Oh, I, yeah, if I he was making, making up the numbers. But yeah. I just love that, like, of course he's only going to post when he wins. He, he <laughs> maybe posts a video every now and then that's, like, really pissed. But, like, I love when he just posts those videos in front of, like, <laughs> his massive setup of, like, a million screens. And it's, like, whatever upset just happened that no one was expecting it's the end of it he's just standing there <laughs> like just like Ramos is made Ramos is <laughs> how about the video the other day where the, the the mulch truck is just pouring mulch and he's like <laughs> is here. it's like what is oh, what do you mean by the way Stu's also oh. he's like i Three, five, four. I think he's a little fella too. Oh my gosh! I the videos where he just, uh, just like takes off sprinting, <laughs> and he sprints from. He's got a huge yard, and he sprints from like a hundred yards plus out right up to the camera, and just like There's starts screaming. <laughs> dude, have you seen the one where he falls down? Yes, dude. dude that's oh, I saw where he's diving. Times. I know where he dives into his pool. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> He just, yeah, no free shout outs, but this guy's like the funniest person ever. I love Stu. I love, dude, I fucking love Stu. He's always taking pictures of his food. Look at this. But you, if you ever listen to his stories, he says the word breathtaking seven times. Is, Look at this absolutely breathtaking bagel. You wish you had a breakfast like me. I'm better than you. I'm Stu Finer. You're fucking not. And it's yeah. like the next meal. Look at this breathtaking antipasta. Fucking the guy eats like two thousand dollars of food a night. I swear. Oh my gosh! I saw where he 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 showed like six different meals. Like, oh, that was one meal. That was one meal. Oh, I, I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Right. It's like he was showing it as he went more and more. I'm like, dude, it all looks amazing. But like, I would eat one eighth of that and be like, good. I was talking about fuck railing out his wife and eating her ass. What a fuck! He's just a fucking. <laughs> Oh, like he, he, yeah, he will say, yeah, he'll say whatever. I mean, shout out to Finer, actually. Free, he'll give, we'll give him a free shout out. I like that. He's a good kid. Anyway, let's talk about Deshaun Watson, huh? Known uh, massage therapist diddler. Um, uh, guy diddles massage therapist. Apparently, uh, by the way, what I like about this, what you, get, 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 the, get, get the people at home, Mitchie. What happened to that one uh, uh, plaintiff 
who uh, uh, has yet to be named. <clears throat> Do you about the one that talking about the one that was on the, the one that was on the video? Did her name? No, oh, no, no. She, she was the crying one. Then another one was like just didn't even. I don't think I even read. Someone read the letter for her. She's on camera. And then, but I we read we read something yesterday. It was like Deshaun Watson's lawyer requests that plaintiff uh, identify herself so Deshaun Watson can defend himself. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, right. It's like you can just thing? you can just say it. You can just be anonymous that's and say it. Like that. That's yeah. It's ridiculous. And then the one that did the video, um, look, it, it's sad. I, it, it, like it, he obviously, whatever. We'll we'll see. Everything needs to come out. But it looks very much like he was just doing things he should not have been in a big time way. Uh, but with her video, I mean, that's who? It, that's who? the proof? You can't say that. It's a prepared statement. You throw in there, you're, you're crying and this happened and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh man, this is sad. And then she's like, my, my, my dad was, was a huge Houston Texans fan. And now it's like, dude, take that out. Oh, take man. that out. Come well, on. Mitchie, why are you saying it's sad? I could get up and you're only saying that because she's a lady. If I got up in front of a room and I started crying over fucking embezzlement charges or forgery charges, you'd just be like, why is this fucking guy crying? That's the only reason you'd be like, oh, it's sad. God, dude, she, I could have gone to Lenny's acting school. That is, by the way, open and taking applications right now. He's one of the best actors of our generation. There's no fucking evidence here, Mitchie Steves. You can't say, oh, I, I think it's very clear what happened here. Oh, one crying lady. 22 of them, man. That's just the one that was crying in the video. One, two, like, people with faces, and then 20 people without faces who haven't identified themselves, Mitchie Steves. No, dude, trust me. I, 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 am, I, am, I am an innocent until proven guilty guy. Clearly that's, not. That's why our takes on this have been, I'm just saying, it's looking more and more like. Sean Watson's an innocent man. I'm saying right now, I don't need evidence, Mitchie Steves, which kind of contradicts my problem. I'm just kidding. We need evidence. What are you going to do? You do need evidence. But here, but my to wrap this up, I don't want to talk about it that much more, but one of my buddies is talking about how he was offered early on when there's only like two or three girls, a plea deal, right? Where he could basically like, you know, settle it out with money. money. And he said, no, I want to clear my name. But your two, buddy? Two thoughts on this. Your, your yeah. butt, did you say your buddy? You know someone who's diddled? No, one of my buddies, we were talking about it. Just like, oh, dude, I, think said, I know a guy who, like, once he got to two or three girls, I was like, hey, what? No, what? Oh, gosh, I don't know how I worded that wrong. You just, you don't listen to half things I say. So I, I'm gonna, we'll That's go fair. back and listen. I don't, anyway, I was talking on the phone with one of my buddies about this to Sean Watson. Okay, anyway. <laughs> he, God. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the point. I literally lost wow, my job man. because of you. Um, okay. No. Okay. He said no. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay these people off. I'm going to. I want to clear my name. Okay. There's two thoughts on this. At first, I was like, Oh, okay. Well, that sounds good for Deshaun Watson. Like he wouldn't take. But it's also like, what other option does he have? He pays those people off. What does that look like? You know who did do that? Almost a very, very similar situation. Peyton Manning. Really? Yeah. Similar, very, very similar allegations back when he was at Tennessee from a trainer that he forced himself on her and things like that. Settled out of civil court, paid her a bunch of money. Their family did. And then it resurfaced a little bit later uh, or a couple of years ago because one of the deals in court was never talk about this again yeah you signed a non-disclosure they, they came they come out with this book the book of manning or something and they talked about it oh boy they brought her up or something like that and uh, yeah so anyway i think he's a funny guy Look everybody China, like yeah. loves him but it's like mm, i don't know and it sounds eerily similar to what they're accusing Deshaun watson of which is like kind of putting himself on girls that are massage i mean it's like i don't know I've literally never heard that story before. You could have just made that up and I could fall for it. You've, you've been known to do that. I mean, that's a pretty horrible thing to make up. Well, I mean, you, Which you brings us to our point of if these people are making it up, if these people are making it up, they should go to prison for a very long time. You know. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. They, they, they have effectively ruined his name already. That's tricky. My question is this. I'm no lawyer, doctor, scientist, man. Right? I'm no veterinarian. 
But I will say this, Mitchie, how do you prove that? Like, let's say, for example, you came, you know, you came over to my house. I was like, uh, you're massaging me, right? I'm like, hey. Why do we need uh, to use us as the example? Well, I mean, I, you, don't have to, you don't have to do the example. I get that it's hard to You have like a sister or something? I can use a better example if you'd like. <laughs> let's no. say, let's say, let's say. Uh, let's. No, I know what you're going to do. <laughs> okay. Let's say a person that's not associated with you or your family or anyone that you know, that just really happens to look like maybe a sibling comes over to my house to massage me, right? I'm like, hey, you want to uh, you know, do some sex stuff to my pee-pee? And she's like, no. And she's like, I got to go. Like, it, like, that's technically harassment, right? Or whatever. Like, how do you prove that? Like, it, like if this was March of 2020, like, how do you prove that? How do you prove assault? How do you prove sexual assault? How do you prove... Yeah, I think you were talking the other day, or I don't know if it was someone, I think it was you, you're like, he was like rubbing his wiener on girls or you know, requesting weird stuff. It, that might have been someone else. I don't know. Like, how do you prove that a year later is my question. How do you have evidence for that? Like, if you murder someone and I've got a bloody murder weapon, like, that's murder, right? Like, if, uh, uh, like, like, how do you prove, like, oh, like, he asked me to do, like, to lick his butt butthole or something like how do you they how do you prove that i mean i think it, it really is just like he said she said and they ask a bunch of questions and the lawyers try to get down to it i mean that's kind of it i mean i agree with you it's it's very tough to prove um i think it's impossible to prove unless like well i mean not impossible but like unless without a, without a I, confession or him admitting i said something or yeah, I don't. Or like a video. Or like Dave Fortnoy railed out a girl with a wearing a dog. No free shout outs. But Dave Fortnoy railed out a girl wearing a dog chain, dog collar, and he spit on her. And, you know, the whole internet's done about great content. Great content. But that's out there. We know that happened, right? But uh, so you didn't hear about this? I didn't know that graphic stuff. Well, oh, wait, what are you, some sort of, what are you, some sort of like, uh, 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 like Catholic or something, Bob? Huh? What are you, some sort of, what are you, a prude? Huh? Well, you never, you never chained up uh, the dog collar. Come on, Mitchie. Come on. Oh, see. Oh, <laughs> holy cow. Uh, no, did, didn't know about that. Appreciate it, man. Um, uh, content. You can listen to it. I listened to his podcast. Either. It was good content. I liked it. Yeah. No, we talked about it. I just didn't know. I didn't know. The, oh, I didn't the, tell you. That. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. Because, it, I mean, it's no, like, uh, you know, eyes closed, lights off, you know, missionary. Guy. It's Well, I sent you the screenshot of, like, someone photoshopped Michael Rappaport's face on her face. <laughs> oh yeah yeah that was funny but no yeah like he was talking about it and he's like yeah like i spiced it up a little bit it's literally a still of him like holding a dog chain <laughs> it's just it's like it's just i mean like it's it's anything i mean like that, that's that's dave portnoy you know like that's just a move yeah. that's a good move um let's talk, let's go back to sports Mitchie. what do you think deshaun watson can get traded to I don't care. No one. Oh, you know, I was thinking 49ers or Panthers. 49ers traded up to the number three. Panthers trade for Sam Darnold. Yeah, what do we think about that? What's going on with Teddy Bridgewater? I mean, I think if you're the Bears, you're sitting there thinking, jeez. I don't know. Maybe Andy can give him something. He's shown he's shown some stuff, but it's like maybe the Broncos. I think the Broncos trade for him for Bridgewater. No, or for, for Watson. Watson. Fuck, dude. I don't know what's going. There's also like four, five. There's there's obviously Lawrence. There's Mac Jones. There's Trey Lance. There's Justin Fields. There's uh, Zach Wilson. We got five new quarterbacks. We still have Deshaun Watson and Teddy Bridgewater out there on the trade block. I mean, there's like. Dude, I think that this is that it's exactly what the Texans organization wants right now, um, which is there are a handful of teams that would want to be making moves for Watson right now, but they cannot. So they're going to just go to a different option. That's uh, I, they, they just they can't. They can't. You, you cannot. No, if I was the Texans, I mean, the te I don't think the Texans want single pieces. If I was the Texans, oh man, I bet you they're kicking themselves in the ass we could have moved this fucking guy for three four first rounders a month or two ago 
And now we're stuck with basically a guy who's getting all of his endorsements dropped. He's got big allegations against him. He might not play enough snap in the NFL. And like, I mean, like if I was a Texans, I'd be shooting myself in the foot. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't know. I, Cause I just heard the angle that they want to kind of force him to stay. And just Cause before they had an asset that just didn't want to be there. Now they've got a liability that doesn't want to be there. So like all the only leverage they did have is now they literally just have a dumpster fire on their hand now. Like that's with no trade. They can't trade him right now. He's on the suspended list. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's insane. Yeah. Mitchie hot takes, Mitchie hot takes. Come on, Mitchie. I'm over here. I'm trying to give you some quick takes. You gotta, you gotta respond with some uh, deep thought and analysis. Huh? Uh, so much about that guy that I, I can't really. I don't know if we talk about him. No, we don't. We don't talk about him that much. Yeah. Um. Uh, you said uh, Barry. Oh, Gonzaga Baylor. What about them? Huh, Bob? Gonzaga Baylor. Yeah. Who'd you Jeez. bet on? If you're if you're a Gonzaga fan, I don't know, man. That's that's tough. I mean, because what are they gonna next year? They're in that same that same conference. They're gonna roll right through it. I, I mean, I, I think they have a lot of the guys back. They're probably gonna win every game next year until somebody beats them in the tournament. It's kind of the thought you have to have. It's just like, man, uh, two, uh, what 2017? They had a similar, not a similar game. They got blown out by Baylor, um, but they lost by. They were in the game against North Carolina. They lost by seven or eight. They went all the way. To, they they couldn't get to the final four. Right, they were always really good. Couldn't get the final four. Got there, got to the championship. They lose to a really good Carolina team by seven or eight, I think. Um, and then fast forward, this is the best team they've ever had. I mean, unbelievable. You watch them, and it's like everyone, oh, cupcake conference, whatever. That's such a good team. Gonzaga is such a good team. They just couldn't get it done. Like that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Man, Zaga is an all time loser team. They're like the 2007 Patriots. They're a bunch of losers, Mitchie. They, they got no clutch gene in them. I mean, they did hit like a buzzer beater to go to the championship. Yeah, but that would have gone to overtime. That's pretty clutch yeah. to hit the shot. To yeah, it was it. one game. That was one game, Mitchie. When did it matter? When did it count? They won 29 games by double digits. Yeah, against fucking App State and Moorhead State, which, by the way, combined players for that uh, that first game of the season. Remember they, they what they do? They take the five best players. Yeah, you fucking piece of shit, you rat. But, uh, uh, but no, the, uh, the, yeah, they won a bunch of games. But they can win. They can win 30. They can win 300 games in a row, Mitchie Steez. When did they need to win? They lost that game. They're losers. They don't have clutch teams. If they'd won that game, we'd be saying, oh, praise be until Gonzaga, the undefeated team. Bunch of losers. Stupid mustache kid lost me a bunch of money that night. Kid was a straight-up liability on the hardwood that night, Bob. Well, hey, state of Indiana is happy because they're still, they still got that, that uh, you know, claim to fame. Last team that went undefeated, won the national championship, 1976 Indiana Hoosiers uh, with Gonzaga going down. I was in a room full of people that took that got a, a crazy line. They got Gonzaga plus four and a half. I had Baylor plus four and a half and just sitting there quietly. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, exactly. Baylor, Baylor could not miss, man. I mean, I know that you're doing that. You're doing a thing here where you're saying, oh, Gonzaga goes 32 and one and they suck somehow. But a thing. Dude, they just they ran into a really good team that played their perfect game. I mean. That's tough. I don't. I don't. I don't know what you do with that. Jalen Suggs. Jalen Suggs gets two fouls in the first like minute. That's he's tough. A bum. He's a bum. He's not even good. Um. Uh. I tell you what, Mitchy sees. I don't. Know if he's the know. number one player in the state of Minnesota uh, mm-hmm. in basketball and football. I got a cat, Mitchy sees. Is that, is that is that Jerome? Uh, I don't think he likes it too much when I pick him up. He's okay with it. He's, he's not against it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. There yeah, he the doesn't like it at all. No, yeah. he likes it. He likes he's it. He's out the gate. See no, you later. He like, he like, I, I can go and he'll, he'll jump up on my lap. But sometimes yeah, you know, do it right now. Oh, come here. Come here, Keith. 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 Watch this. Come here, Keith. 
Watch it. Oh, told you. Oh, 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 oh. He's a cookie. All right, all right. I'm going to name him Luigi. You guys have been uh, training. Huh? You guys have been training. Oh, yeah. I uh, gave him some treats the other day, too. Pretty good. He's a good look at. And look at the pair of nuts on this dude, man. Oh, my goodness. Come on. I don't know if this is tech. Wait, let me spin him around. Oh, he's a shy. He's like, she doesn't want to show his nuts on camera. He's a, he's a good kid. But uh, he's got big pair of balls. Let me tell you what. Uh, I got him a discount. Craigslist discount Ben Kitty. Uh, free, no shots, no vaccinations, not spayed or neutered. I don't know if he's got fleas, but he's a good cat. He's a good kid. And he's got a clean, he's got a clean mouth. He doesn't have, he doesn't smell weird. He doesn't have any weird lumps or anything. He's a good fuck. He's just a normal fucking cat, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. He snuggled up with me last night too, Mitchie. Slept on the couch. Good little kitty. It's very cute. I'm going to be getting a cat here soon. You're going to get your cat? I don't know. I want to get a dog, but. The next month or so, probably. Don't tell him that. I was going to get a dog. But I figure, like, dog, you got to take care of a dog. You know, the, the, I can, within a couple of months, this dummy, I can just leave him here with a big old bowl of food and he can make do. A dog, you can't really, you know, can't leave for a weekend and, like, you know, dog's going to piss and shit. And, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I lock the, I lock the house up. I can't just have a door open so we can go use the bat. Cat's a little easier to work with, Mitchie. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, sports. Uh, oh, yeah, Gonzaga's a bunch of bums. Um, mm hmm. Uh, Jake, that Jacob Timmy guy, Jimmy Timmy, what's his name? Jacob Timmy. What an absolute bum, absolute bum of the century. What a loser that guy is. Uh, Drew um, Timmy. Yeah, same thing. Right, guys. You know what his name is? Liability Timmy. He's a bum. Uh, and uh, uh, Baylor's pretty good. Baylor's pretty good. Yeah, but I tell you what, there's no better. It's kind of like you, actually. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, the no, Baylor Timmy does. No, Baylor. I said Baylor's pretty good, and you're like, oh yeah, Baylor's kind of like you. Know, I'm like, yeah, pretty good. I tell you what, though, there's no better feeling in gambling that when you take a team plus money and they just take control of it the entire game there's no better feeling the, I, the word there's no word like last night i took the kings <coughs> minus six and a half down 20 immediately there's no worse feeling than that because then you're like fuck i gotta get tw i'm down tw no, get off that. Get off, get off. there's no worse feeling than that because then you're like fuck i'm not down 20 i'm down 27 right it's so terrible feeling but when you're up 20 plus six and a half, it's like, yeah, I got this in the bag. I can sit back, relax, cash this ticket, baby. You know? Yeah. That's, that's how that championship game felt for sure. Um, I tell you what, I'm, on, I'm coming up on a time crunch here, bubs, but I did want to mention John Brandon suspended university of Cincinnati basketball coach. Um, what do you do? Here's my, here's my take uh, players that were, you know, have been coming out against him and, and, you know, things that he's been doing. Uh, are soft and couldn't take tough coaching. What, what, what was he doing? That's my take. Everybody wants to uh, jump on the fire of the coach bandwagon as fast as they can. I, I don't know what it is about people loving to see the world burn that they immediately want to go that route. All these people, oh, behind the scenes, things were happening. There's rumors that the parents of the players were upset that they weren't able to get, that, that he wasn't keeping them involved as much as they wanted to. What was he like, what? Was he like making are the, what is there? Are, are the are these kids seven? Like, what, what are we talking about? And players came out in defense of him. Former players, current players. Hey, I love the way Coach Brandon uh, he coaches. We had a guy David DeJulius that was having mental issues during the season Julius and Brandon. checked himself himself out of the team and then returned. Asked John Brandon to come back. Who what what who in their right mind if they're having struggles like that? Who then comes back to a situation that's supposedly so toxic? I just don't believe it. I think that people, certain people, boosters, AD, whatever at the University of Cincinnati don't like John Brandon. So they want to create this whole thing to get him out. And certain players didn't like him, whatever. Um, I think he's a really good basketball coach. What are the rumors with him, Mitch? You know, you're skirting around it. Well, give us, give us some other rumors. Well, what's going on here? He's Those are the rumors. They, they, they said that all, the only thing that the players said, anonymous quotes, by the way, I know we know uh, he's a but the only thing the players said was, um, yeah, I just, I, I didn't, I just like didn't love the game anymore. And like, it wasn't, um, it wasn't because of anything else other than one person, John Brandon, the coach, he made me not like the game. It's another, 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 player, another player has a quote saying, he puts you in uncomfortable situations in practice. He makes things tough on you. He pushes you to stretch your limits. It's literally exactly what you're supposed to do as a coach. Like it's, 
It's like, <laughs> and, and these kids are like, ah, I don't like it. That's how I interpret it. That's my take, whatever. Something could come out that he was doing something horrible and over the line. If that does, whatever, I wasn't there, but that's just my thought on it right now. Um, the NCAA looked into it, I believe, nothing. And then the University of Cincinnati decided they were going to suspend him and look for, they basically look for reason to fire him. Mickey, what was the race of the people that were complaining? Uh, was not one race, multiple races. Oh, it's multiple races. Okay. Do you have any yeah. commentary on that? Nope. I, ac- I absolutely don't. It has nothing to do with that. Looks like that's going to wrap it up for our show. I was wondering if you had any uh, commentary. No, I don't. I already told you. There, uh, there's, uh, there are some white people and black people both. Yeah. What about, were there any Hispanics or Latino? No. Hmm, I think that says a lot about you. Anyways, let's wrap this up. Um, uh, let's wrap this show up, Mitch Steez. Uh, any commentary? Uh, we got a. I feel like your brain just short circuits to saying any commentary. When we grow. Get a commentary on that. Let's wrap this up. Uh, any uh, hot picks this weekend? Any hot games? You're sharp better. We, we know that. The fans know that. Any sharp picks? got this weekend any thoughts any games stick out uh i like my reds to keep it rolling who are they playing again who are they playing this playing the arizona up? diamondbacks so diamondbacks uh, stink so we'll see they gotta travel out to arizona so that, that's always tough going out west but um yeah i think the reds are gonna take two or three from the diamondbacks when are they, when are they playing today they play well, yes yeah, so they play later because it's out west they play Tonight at 9.40 Eastern. What's the spread? Let me lay the, before we wrap this up. Let's check the spread on that via Fine Line Sports. Let's see what Fine Line Sports has to say about that pick, huh? Let's see what they uh, – could we use Fine Line Sports? Oh, if we shoot them a DM on Instagram at Fine Line Sports. I bet the Reds are one and a half. I don't know what that – what do you? What does that mean? Minus one and a half. Well, yeah, I mean, we're, looking, we're talking money line, though, Bob. Ooh, Cincinnati Reds. My, yeah, it's minus one and a half. Plus money on the road, though, which I don't like. It could, minus 132 on the, on the run line, Bob. I mean, the, wait, no, the run line is the minus one and a half. The money line is always the money line, right? Yeah. I like how they, I like because in hockey they call it the puck line. And baseball, it's the run line. What do they, they, have a, they, don't have, they don't have anything for that in football, though. They just call it the spread. Right. That's another reason. They call it the point line. No, no, that's the reason. That's another fucking reason why the NFL is better. That's a, the football is a superior sport because guess what? Baseball, hockey, they're making up these cute little fun names wrapped up with a bow tie to entice gamblers and entice fans to make it look better. So they're putting a bow tie in a pig, Mitchie. The NFL doesn't need the glitz. It doesn't need the glamour. It doesn't need the glitter. All right. It's the spread. NFL is what you get, is what you get. It's the best sport out there. We don't need no fucking nicknames. Bucket line. For basketball would be fun. They call it bucket line too. Wait, do they actually call it bucket line? No. No. I don't know why you said that then. That would be actually. Yeah, that like, would be fun. Can we, can we just, uh, let's, you and I, let's just start calling it the bucket line. Because okay. actually, that does sound fun. We, the basket, we'll call it the basket line. The basket line. <laughs> actually, we'll call it the basket line. <laughs> what about the football, uh, for football? What is one we could, uh, the skin line? Pig, pig skin? Pig skin, yeah. I don't like skin line. Skin line sounds, uh, Either Ugh. sexual or like uh, uh, hog line. That also sounds sexual. Hog line. It sounds, it sounds like something you'd find in like uh, to 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 Silence of the Lambs. Like it puts the hog line on its skin, or it gets the skin line again. It just sounds weird, you know. You've oh. never seen that. You've never seen that movie before, have you? You ever seen Silence of the Lambs? No, but I, I'm seeing more it's, movies. It's I, saw crazy, it's I saw stupid. Crazy Stupid Love. Uh, the other day i've never seen why don't you watch good fucking hilarious it's a good movie watch classic movies watch good movies. what the fuck is crazy who's in crazy stupid love give us a t- 10 second movie ryan reynolds uh, i don't know have you ever heard of ryan gosling him you ever heard of Steve? Uh, emma emma stone in that one there you go yeah. i've seen the clip doesn't he like take off his shirt and she's like oh my gosh like come on like that's the only i've seen like that they played that in the commercial for that movie a hundred times uh, that's the only thing I know about that movie. Yeah, well, it's pretty funny. Good stuff. Yes, I disagree. Well, I have to cry all of it. I'm thinking Cincinnati Reds minus 132 bump. I, don't know, I think it might be a trap game. It might be a trap game. 
Yeah, really hate that you like it. But, Bub, I got generally 15 seconds, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hey, it's been a lot of fun. Have a wonderful weekend, Bubs. Hey, it's been a lot of fun. Been a great time. Yeah. Hope you have a great day. You too. I hope you have a better day.